What's up, everyone? I'm Timothy Alamon Jr., and this is Milam Asylum. Thanks for tuning in. I super appreciate it. And I hope that I can earn your subscription today. But if not, that's cool. But please like and share so we can get this product review out into the world for those who are curious. Right? 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 Right, 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 right. You, 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 nope, nope, you, 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 you back there. No. Anyway, let's get into it. Today I'm doing Rolling River Spirits. Whoosh. Arr. Coffee. Roasted by Coeva Coffee Roasters. No added sugars or sweeteners. Distilled spirit speciality. Grain neutral spirits with natural flavor. This is 80 proof, so 40% alcohol by the volume. Coffee and batch El Ichko, Ichko, El Salvador, batch 5. Tim Richards. It's a generic label, no handwritten, nothing. It's all typed out, printed with a fake uh, silver pen signature. Rolling River Spirits, an organ craft distillery. By infusing fresh roasted coffee beans, then distilling in our custom-made still, we are able to bring out the essence and deep flavors of the coffee in this distinctive distilled spirit. Rolling River Spirits Russian Spy. That's very fitting. <laughs> That's the name of this drink. If people knew this was on here, they would ban this product. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, here's the recipe. Right there. Pause. Write her down. You're welcome. Um, Portland, Oregon. Which is very ironic, since Portland's very liberal and they're against everything, and then they have a... A Russian uh, drink, Russian spy drink, as a matter of fact, on one of their products is very, very rebellious of that whole entire city. <laughs> Fucking funny to me. Ah, anyway, let's get into it. Handcrafted spirits. So they got this safety seal for my safety. Are we double? Are we double wrapped? Oh, we are! Woo! For your protection. Don't want no STDs. Double wrap that shit up. You know? Alright. Oh, that was... I was hoping for a moment of ASMR, but that was like... It just, you know, it just fell out. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Hmm. Not a heavy coffee scent whatsoever. But it's there. And I smell absolutely zero alcohol, which is very rare for something that's 40 proof. All I smell is like uh, a light hint of roasted coffee. Let's... Take a test, shall we? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, all right. Let me get into this. This was twenty six ninety five. Yes, twenty seven fucking dollars. That is correct. Now, my first sip, I and only sip, got a nice heavenly coffee flavor, and it was great. Very well done. Complimented my palate 
just right. And then, after about five to ten seconds, BAM! I got hit with that burning alcohol flavor. And that is all that's left upon thy tongue. Um, so somewhere something isn't mixing correctly in the product in and as of itself. So, is it worth the $27? No. No, it's not. It, it can be a good sipper, though, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, it's definitely not a shotter, and it's definitely not a mixer. So, it, it, it maybe over some ice in a tumbler, that might be the best or proper way to drink that. Um, straight out the bottle, definitely not. But I don't recommend, I want to spend the money on it to buy it again. But, however, it is the best tasting coffee flavored product that I have tasted. Um, not, it doesn't hit you with that really strong coffee and it's almost sweet in a way. Um, and it was very pleasant until I got smashed with the fucking backflow of alcohol. Rushing down the sewage. Boom! Um, so I'm going to be generous here and I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. So, I'm Timothy Almond Jr. See you next time. Fuck off.